Even though real life is way more complex and filled with more events than what we experience in a video game, there are some things that are harder to do in a virtual environment. Walking, for example, feels natural for a living being, but for an animated character, it's pretty hard to look normal while strolling around a city. Besides this, simple tasks such as jumping over obstacles, climbing ladders or having a casual talk can prove to be really challenging chores that we here in the real world take for granted. Unlike in real life, where you stay drunk for quite a long time, in video games the effect passes in a few minutes. Very anticlimactic, to say the least. Yes, we know that a couple of minutes in a video game count for hours in real life, or something like that, but still we'd like to feel the alcoholic euphoria for a bit longer. Especially in Grand Theft Auto V, the endeavour of getting blind drunk and enjoying life in a pure blurry bliss is taken away from you in the blink of an eye. Even though sometimes we feel beat and think that life is the hardest game to ever be invented, surviving may prove to be easier in our own reality than in a virtual one. The fact that we don't have to face threats such as gruesome dragons, murderous evil masterminds or devastating zombie infestations makes it way easier to subsist. Life might not be as heroic and as jam-packed of adrenaline-filled quests as a video game, but we have to be thankful for its innate safety. For what we saw in movies and what is also true on the battlefield, after shooting endless rounds you'll eventually run out of ammo. Not in video games. Here you can spend all your bullets and not worry about finding a new clip because the mechanic is so forgiving that it grants you pretty much infinite ammunition. In some video games it's downright impossible to remain powerless in front of your enemies, so keep shooting. It's not very likely that you'll run out of ammo soon. Driving like a normal human being is one of the hardest things to accomplish in a video game. First of all, the controls are not usually the friendliest in-game mechanic and you need to concentrate extra hard to master them. Second of all, you don't really have to stick to traffic regulations, so becoming an over-enthusiastic driver that crashes into people and buildings is extremely easy. In conclusion, driving in a normal fashion is pretty close to impossible in video games. Not everybody knows how to swim in real life, but in video games it's even more difficult. Besides the moves that you have to learn once you're underwater, the awkwardness comes from the fact that in some games you literally die when you touch it. In the older installments of Grand Theft Auto, for example, you met certain death every time you happen to fall into water. Even though at first it might seem like you can float for a bit, you eventually drown. You do anything for your good friends. Take that extra damage in a raid, give them some healing potions and even sacrifice your life for them, but there are situations when you simply cannot keep them alive till the end. Fortunately, in real life you are not as responsible for your friends' well-being and you don't have to constantly worry for their safety or defend them from all kinds of final bosses that simply want to wipe all of you out. Yet another mechanic that is not very gamer friendly. Climbing up but mainly down a ladder can be a source of endless frustration. If in real life the action comes as a natural thing, in games it is awkwardly difficult to make the right move so that you don't look like a weird cockroach that is trying to ascend a wall. Most of the times you don't even climb the ladder but rather pull yourself up it, which can look even weirder if such a thing is even possible. Besides climbing ladders like a glorified bug, walking like a plastic mannequin is yet another feature found in video games. The movements can look so unnatural it will seem like your character is sort of sliding on the ground rather than walking like a normal person. But this is not the most awkward thing about taking a stroll. The fact that you seem to be constantly running without having the option of just simply walking at a slower pace is in fact the core of unrealistic movements. In a video game, you rarely talk to an NPC about random stuff. Most of the time you are in search of a certain item, so very often you'll find yourself jumping right into the conversation and bluntly asking for directions or clues. Of course, besides the pragmatic side of this aspect, you're also going to enjoy a fair share of awkward conversations that seem to lead nowhere but it's necessary to have them if you want to complete your quest. Death is not a permanent thing in video games and this is why it's harder to get hurt when you fall off of tall cliffs or buildings. For those who want to test the limits of their character by plunging into the ether, the odds are looking great, as a fall will most certainly not kill you. Not to say that being so resilient is a bad thing, but it most certainly is not compatible with the reality where the human body is way more vulnerable and frail. And here, we don't have the option of loading our game if we get badly hurt.
This was our list featuring things that are harder to do in a video game than in real life, and we hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, please press that like button as we do appreciate it and it helps us immensely. We often ask our audience for suggestions to compile these lists, and if you'd like to contribute, please follow Frag Hero on Facebook. If you can think of any other difficult tasks that are a piece of cake in the real world, be sure to mention them in the comments below, because we do try to read pretty much everything. Now would also be a great time to encourage you to subscribe, because we upload new stuff all of the time, so subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest videos. You you can also check out FragHero.com for more gaming-related articles, but until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.